Welcome back to Mr. Scott Maths. In this video, we're going to look at dividing using the bus stop method. So for example, to 138 divided by six, we would take the six on the outside of our bus stop, draw our bus stop in and put 138 inside our bus stop. We first need to ask how many sixes go into one. Well, of course, we can't get any sixes into one. So this one is going to carry over and go with the three to make 13. We now ask how many sixes go into 13, and that's going to be two. We're also going to have one left over because six times two makes 12. That's one more to get to 13. I'm going to carry that over to the eight to make 18. We now ask how many sixes go into 18. Well, that's going to be three. There's nothing left over. So we get our final answer here of 23. Another example we can do is 408 divided by 12. So this time we put our 12 on the outside of the bus stop, draw our bus stop in and write in 408. So the first thing to do would be see how many 12s we can get into four, but of course we can't get any 12s into four. So we're gonna carry all of that four over to this zero to make 40. How many 12s go into 40? Well, that's going to be three. And since three times 12 is 36, we have four more left over. That's going to carry on to this eight. We now ask how many 12s go into 48, and that's going to be four. So we see that our answer to this question is 34. One final example we're going to look at is 1,946 divided by seven. And we see how we can use this for bigger numbers as well. So we're going to put our seven on the outside, draw our bus stop in, and we have 1,946. So first of all, how many sevens go into one? That's none. So we're gonna carry that one over to the nine to make 19. How many sevens go into 19? That's going to be two. And since two times seven is 14, we're going to have five more left over. Now we're asking how many sevens go into 54? Well, that is going to be seven. Seven times seven makes 49. And that means there's five left over to get to 54. So we're carrying all of that over to our six and that makes 56. The last part is then to work out how many sevens go into 56. That is going to be eight. There's nothing left over. So we've got our final answer here of 278.